People of the Purple Butterfly here, otherwise known as People of Seven on Twitter and YouTube, People of Elsewhere on the Internet, and my blog is located at purplebutterfly-people.blogspot.com. And I'm coming to you live from my front porch so you can see my crochet braids that are now completed. Been having a few issues with the lighting inside the house. Uh, the one lamp was moved from the living room to the dining room to accommodate a sewing machine. And as you've seen in previous videos, with colored walls, the light doesn't really, you know, provide the lighting we need. So even the room with the white walls, without the lamp in there, and the way the house is made, sunlight doesn't even penetrate. But anyway, these are my completed crochet braids. Up here is my hair. The crochet braids start right about there. See, that way I can still wear bangs or whatever. And since I use hair that's the same texture as my own hair, it will match perfectly. So I don't have to worry about straightening and texture and all that. If I use a straight hair when I do crochet braids, then I braid it all the way to the um, hairline because my hair is curly <laughs> and it will be a stark contrast next to straight hair one thing that's important to note because okay like the packages I use um, water wave by glance or model model glance water wave or water wave water when it's you know the hair if you see it in the package, but it comes with like 15 twisty strands and you know you cut those in half and people are thinking this is 30 braids. No, I separate those after I cut it in half into three. There's a method to do it where it's no tangling. So that way instead of you know having to buy five packs and only getting this much of your hair done, I buy five packs I only use four because I separated into three and it made a much more natural look. So in the meantime, people are looking going, but that's kind of frizzy. That's not going to look right. I was like, wait till I'm done. Because after I do my crochet braids and make sure they're nice and secure, use the loot knot in um, the video that I show you how to do that with the really big um, braid and the demo that's green. After you do that, wash your hair, or at least wet it up real good, give it a shake, and all those little frayed curls, as you can tell, will curl right back up. Now, this is slightly longer than my hair is in the back. I took the longest strand of my hair in the front and measured it, and that's what um, length I put all the way around. So, if your hair is only this long in the front, when you put it at the nape of your neck, it comes down to here, as you can tell. So that gives a more natural look for me because it's believable. It's about the same length as my hair already was, but it's far without having to detangle or anything. That's why I like using crochet braids that are, in fact, the same texture as my own hair because there's no work attached to it. My hair can be protected under here and grow while I still look like I looked yesterday or the day before. But here's your 360. Is that cool or what? I am thinking about, you know, leaning to the front, coming all the hair forward or directing all the hair forward because obviously you can't really comb through this and giving it a diva cut or more of a rounded trim because that way I don't have the little let's stand up here and let's lay down there type of it. But I just want to give you the 411. Take a look and give it a try. And y'all stay blessed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.